So the girls Class C state basketball tournament saw a couple of lopsided affairs in the early games earlier on Thursday. Roy Winifred Scobie each advancing with ease. What would the nightcaps bring? Well, we have the defending champs in there, but who all punches their ticket to Friday's semifinals? The late session started off with Savage. Bill Triplett leading the team back to the state tournament. Brett Thompson and Charlo on the opposite side, and the Vikings struck first. Allie Delaney's got the offensive board, and the pass out to Leave Smith. She's got it in the foul. 4 0. Charlo had the early lead, but Savage would rip off a huge run. Watch Haley Conradson. She's going to drive all the way in for the easy lay in. Then Conradson showing some defense on the other end, the big rejection. And on the very next play, out of bounds, Kiana Miller is going to get the block. She collects it, outlets it out to Conradson for the lay-in. And the Warriors are feeling it. Their fans on their feet. Warriors nowhere near done, though, because Soda Rice had the offensive board. The jump shot fall. She had only four points, but how about seven rebounds for the Warriors? And then watch the nice dish here from Rice to Tyler Lean. She had 10 at the half, 10 at the game to go with five steals. It was a 12-0 second quarter for Savage who led 23-6 at halftime. And in the third quarter, it was part of a continued 20 to nothing run. Watch the screen and roll, Rice and Lean. And there you go, Soda's gonna finish inside at the hoop. Charlo just looking for any kind of magic to get back into things. Smith was the bright spot. Two of her team high 10 points came right there, but it was all savage. Reagan Prevost steps into the triple. The lefty splashes at home, and the Warriors blow away the Vikings, 42 to 25. Our defense turns into offense quite often because our guards can get up and down the floor pretty well. You know, Conradson's got really good wheels, and a lot of times she's a recipient of those steals. Lean does a great job of looking up the floor, and, and uh, I think, you know, without our defense, if we were just to go back and, and sit back and play a regular man-to-man, -man, we'd just be another team, you know, but our defense has been kind of our trademark. Oh, it's awesome not to just have to rely on one person each night. like. It's a pretty tough team to have five good players that can have a good night any night. And so you don't just have that one player that can be shut down. You can like you have many different weapons that can do many different things. So I would really like to play Box Elder just because we've never played them and we've never seen them. And I think it would be really fun to play them. So yeah. So Savage awaiting the defending champ Box Elder and another state tourney team from last year, Ekalaka, looking for the upset. Bulldogs did all they could early. Ella Owen, offensive rebound, put back goes, but Lillian Gopher was absolutely feeling it in front of the clock. <coughs> but Lillian Gopher was absolutely feeling it in front of a nice packed house tonight. Yeah, Watch the be. quick turnaround be. jumper. That one goes for Box Elder. Then Gopher gonna drive and slice her way through the defense for two more right there. And so she draws the Ekalaka defense. So Gopher looks back out to Jonelle Momberg. She drives and scores. And Box Elder starting to pull away big. Watch the fast break. Maddie Wolfchief through traffic. She goes to Sarah Parisian. Easy lay in there. And now it's Gopher's turn to get the steal at half court. The outlet up ahead to Wolfchief. 25 points for Box Elder in quarter number two. But Gopher not done yet. 14 points for her at halftime. She nearly outscored the Bulldogs all by herself. And finally, Ekalaka would end the bleeding. Tori Took going to find Whitney Kittleman. The baseline jumper goes, but Box Elder's damage was done. 39-18 at halftime. And in the second half, it was more of Wolf Chief with the steal, the layup. Box Elder pulling away big. And then Momberg on the right wing, spots up for three, knocks that one down. And as we follow her, the little smile and celebration, she goes and gets an offensive rebound, puts it in as well. And Box Elders back in the semifinals. They'll get Savage on Friday night. I think defensive intensity, you know, the girls, you know, we've been trying to get them to play 32 minutes. Like everybody, you want your team to be playing full. Uh, I thought they brought it that quarter and really stepped it up. Rebounding was a lot better. Uh, I think the girls just uh, were, were ready for a quarter like that after last Saturday to really uh, show what they could do. Um, I think we just had to make a statement and execute more of our offense. And then we had to pick up our defensive intensity too. Is, is there any pressure on you guys being the defending champions? Yeah, there's definitely pressure, but we just got to keep going and, not, and just not believe the hype and right. just stick to our game plan.